Hey everyone, it's Jessica and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for you for the Paper Issues Design Team and today this sketch is very special to me because it's actually one that I created for the design team and this is for day 17 of 31 days of sketches for the month of January for Paper Issues. So I am going to do some mixed media where I have my sprinkles on my sketch layout. So I am starting off with some Tim Holtz Distress inks in Evergreen Bow and Cracked with Pistachio. And then I'm also going to do some splatters in some speckled wood, um, no, not speckled wood, um, oh, weathered wood is what it's called. <laughs> I'm thinking speckled egg because it's a bluish color, but it's actually called weathered wood. It's like a grayish. And then I am going to use some tumbled glass as well. So um, basically what I'm doing here is I'm starting with some Vicki Booten Mixed Media Foundations paper because it's a thicker cardstock and it holds up well to the wet mediums and the water. So um, there I'm adding in some tumbled glass and I'm just using the um, kissing technique with some packaging and my Tim Holtz Mixed Media Mat which is made out of glass so it makes a nice foundation for um, your mixed medias and it wipes right off and my little gremlin is here um, he is helping me you can see he copies everything i do so he is using water and trying to splatter on my paper just like mommy and <laughs> he's super cute about it but i have to keep drying up that corner because he's getting quite a bit of water in that corner of my paper so now you see he's transferred over to a dry brush for um, now, so he's good to go. And I am adding in some splatters with some of the Numo, Nuvo Sparkle Mists or Sparkle Sprays, I guess they're called. Um, so I'm using a couple of those in um, the black color and the blue color, which I will um, put the exact description names below. So I just gave my little one a little piece of paper on his own so he can play with that. <laughs> and I'm just finishing up my splatters on my page with my paintbrush and I'm just kind of um, spritzing down some of the inks and just kind of making them a little bit uh, more soluble so that I can splatter them. And honestly, I don't know what takes me so long in this video to mat these photos just right. Like, I, I feel like I'm being overly super picky, and maybe it's because I, in between matting them, I'm kind of cleaning up after my little one here beside me, but I cut most of that out, and as you can see, he's still playing there in front of my um, station here on my table, but I just feel like this takes me forever, and I don't know why. So he just handed me my scissors, which is actually pretty great because I'm gonna need those in a sec. And I'm just using this border punch to get my kind of tablet, like a rip tablet effect like I put in the sketch. And I specifically did that because I knew that I had this border punch that I wanted to use on this layout. So um, it worked out perfect for me, but if you don't have that, you can use a different border punch or you can even just rip it. So I don't know, again, what takes me so long to mat these photos. I want to layer them. I want to put a couple different uh, papers from the Ellie's Studio Adventure Pack behind these photos to mat them. And I am distressing the edges just using my Close to My Heart Edge Distressor. Um, there's a Tim Holtz one you can use. You can even use the edge of your scissors to distress the edges. But I, I really don't know what takes me so long to do that in this video. Um, I even, I feel like I cut some of that out on this video too, but I'm just kind of dilly-dallying with it and like just messing with the photos. I flip them around to go the other way so that the one of us snowmobiling would be on the left side and the close-up of us would be on the right side. So I kind of fiddle with the papers a little bit and yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what takes me so long, but um, finally I get that going and get that where I want them. And I just rip off the bottom of that piece of paper with the little trees on it. Um, my little one thinks that I need my little um, glue dot tool. That's what I call it, because that's what I usually use that for. So he throws that there, but I'm not really gonna use that for anything. I'm gonna show you my little one. Look at him. Look how adorable he is using my little edge distressor just like mommy does how stinking cute is he <laughs> he tries to copy everything i do when i stamp he tries to stamp too when i edge distress he tries to do the same when i get my tape gun out he steals it from me and he tries to run it too 
it's just so a stinking adorable like I don't even know you guys he's gonna be two here in February and I just oh I don't want him to grow up I want him to stay little and um my husband thinks that he needs to get him away from me because <laughs> he's scrapbooking way too much he says <laughs> But he's just so sweet and adorable, and he wants to help me all the time. Um, so here I am just pulling out some of the Ellie Studio. This is actually from the Christmas line. But I thought these cute little um, label stickers fit in perfectly with my layout. So I'm going to pop those in my layout. And then I'm going to make my own tags. And why I don't pull out my dies for the tags, I have no idea. Because I have the LA Studio dies to cut tags, but sometimes I guess I just don't think about it having those and I just feel like it's quicker to just make my own, so that's what I did. And here I am just making the um, whole reinforcement myself with the Tim Holtz punch and then just the same hole punch that I used for the middles of the tags. Then I just put some thread through those in some blue to match my layout and those colors. And then I'm just gonna pop them in behind like the sketch has. So I stick relatively close to this sketch. Um, I knew whenever I created the sketch what I had in mind for it, and I knew that I wanted to do um, some mixed media. So I kind of already had everything in mind before I even started, um, because you know the sketch came from my head. So <laughs> I knew what I wanted to do with it. Um, I knew what I had in mind, and. Here I'm just pulling out some Vicky Booten iridescent glaze. It's super pretty in person. I've used it before in my videos. Um, it's not really a silver because she has silver. This is more like a whitish color, but it's so super sparkly and pretty in person. I absolutely love it and it adds some dimension to your page. And if you need some Lego blocks or mega blocks, my kids are always on point with those and they are popping into my bottom right corner of my video right now. So they are um, doing some building right now. And I am adding these letters to my page. I'm gonna put a title on here that says uh, Snowflake Season. Um, there's actually a cut file in our shop for free too that has that on it as well, but I didn't quite like how it was formatted and how it was gonna fit on my page. So and honestly, I didn't really feel like cutting anything else out of these patterned papers. I really wanted to kind of add a little bit more sparkle with those, um, those sparkly silver letters. So I'm busting out my punches again, guys. I am using my snowflake punches in various sizes. I have, uh, I think four punches total, but I don't use the smallest one. Um, I do use the three other ones that I have. And I cut some out in two of the pattern papers and I cut some out in some clear vellum too. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and I'm going to scatter them about the page and I use glue dots in the micro size to adhere them down to my page. So there's all the snowflakes, they're all stuck down to my page now. And I am going to use this little Ellie's Studio label to stamp my date on and then I'm just going to cut it out and tuck it right up in the top. I stamped it twice but I actually covered up the bottom one so I don't know. Whatever. It's there. It's peeking out. So it was actually on Valentine's Day. I don't know if you noticed that date. It's 2-14-21. We went for a snowmobile ride with some friends of ours on Valentine's Day. So it was without our kids because it was pretty cold that day. So I didn't want to have them out on the sleds. Um, so we had kind of a date day. And we went out with some friends of ours to some places that we had never been. And um, it was super fun. So we don't get to go with um, other people very often. So it was a pretty good time. Here I am just using some Happy Planner stickers. I have so many of them because I started planning last year and just kind of fell off the bandwagon with that. So I have all these Happy Planner stickers left over and I try to use them on my layouts just to kind of use up some of those stickers just because I have so many of the books. So here I'm just using this one for some journaling and I'm just gonna kind of keep throwing some things on from here and finish embellishing. So I'll pop some music in for you and then I will pop in at the end with my finished layout.
So here is my finished layout. I absolutely love how this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and please join our Facebook group and play along with us. You can win prizes every month. And also, if you need any supplies, feel free to use my code Jessica in the paperissues.com store and you can save 20% off all purchases and you can get free shipping over $75 orders. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.